Good morning. Welcome back to another week in the life. I am currently packing because this is my bag. I am flying to Edinburgh today to go to my very first research conference. So this week's gonna be a little bit different. I am going to placement this morning, but before I do that, I need to pack. I will explain what's going on later. So I popped down to the hospital for our Tuesday lecture on acute abdomen. And then because of the junior doctor strikes, I avoided the wards and spent the rest of my time in the library. Past med is always good fun and a good way to humble myself. <laughs> this is a hard question. Vomiting twice. It does say non reducible mass. Maybe it's a concept. I don't know. Yeah, we got family, right? Yeah. We got Gotta keep persevering. Hopefully, by exam season, I'm gonna be much better at these questions. We are on our way to Gatwick. Jack's coming with me as my plus one. We're heading up to Edinburgh. We were gonna get the train, but it was like six or seven hours and three times as expensive as a flight. So we're driving up to Gatwick. The conference is on Thursday. It is the Palliative Care Congress. So my third year research project was in palliative care. We submitted the abstracts and it got accepted. And I'm presenting a poster at the conference and I think my abstract is getting published as well. So that's why we're going up to Edinburgh. Jack's coming with me because I needed a plus one. Obviously I like spending time with Jack and we really like Edinburgh. We haven't been since 2019, so four years ago we last went to Scotland. We went for my 22nd birthday and we loved it, so. Is that you're 26 now? It means I'm nearly 26. Um, we really love Edinburgh, so any excuse to go up there. I'm excited, I've never been to a conference before. It feels really grown up. It doesn't feel like I, I don't know, I have quite bad imposter syndrome about it. Tomorrow we're gonna have a touristy day. I mean, missing placement for a conference is fine, but it also happens to be the strikes at the moment and the uni have told us that we can go in if we want or we can stay in, stay at home if we want. So it actually, the timing is quite good because I'm not really missing much placement. Jack, what are you most looking forward to? Uh, Thursday. What's happening on Thursday? You're going to the conference. Oh yeah, so when I'm at the conference, Jack's having a a solo adventure day. I am so sorry to interrupt this vlog, but I wanted to tell you all about today's video sponsor, Lecturio. Now I have partnered with Lecturio before and I'm really excited to be working with them again because I believe they are a brilliant online tool for medical students and I feel like everyone should know about them. From hundreds of lectures online that are broken down into easily digestible chunks that cover a range of topics that you're gonna cover at medical school, to smart recall quizzes with active recall, and we all love a bit of active recall at med school, to pages and pages of online notes that are clear, concise, and easy to understand. I really think that Lecturio is one of the more thorough learning tools for medical school, just because of the wide range of topics it covers. So if you're in preclinical years or clinical years, I think it's got something for everyone. So I'll let you go and have a look at Lecturio for yourself, but right now they are offering 50% off all of their membership. Whether you want to opt for their three month contract, their 12 month, or their 24 month, all of them are half price at the moment. So if you are interested, I will leave a link in the description that you can go and click on. Go and have a look at what Lecturio is all about and make sure to make the most of those 50% off discounts of their memberships right now. Thanks again to Lecturio for sponsoring this video and I will let you get back to the vlog. Jack's having some lunch from Shake Shack. I've got a ooh, <laughs> I've got a diet coke because I had a sandwich in the car, so I'm not that hungry at the moment. The time is currently 25 past three, and I think our flight is at five, so we've managed to get in for some good time. The last time we flew to Edinburgh, we very nearly missed the flight, and we only made the flight because we it was late and it was right it was a Ryanair flight that was delayed. Um, they're always delayed. We got to the car park 45 minutes before the flight was supposed to take off. 
that was really stressful, but we've been very chilled out this time. You're driving on a busy main road. What should you do if you find that you're driving in the wrong direction? It's a busy road. Would you turn around in a side road? No, I'd just pull it you in. Three points on it. After a very smooth golden hour flight, we landed in Edinburgh around 6.30 and headed to our hotel to check in. Hello, welcome to our hotel room. We are staying in Moxie, Edinburgh. It's very cool and hip. Don't you agree, Jack? No. No? You don't think it's cool and hip? It's about as cool and hip as you. <laughs> <laughs> this is our hotel room, we have this bed. Uh, it has a flat screen TV, doesn't have Netflix though. Does it have? Has a kettle, has this mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Shelf things, and then, oh, what's in the bag? And this is the toilet with a shower. It comes with hair wash and conditioner. And it's called Muck. Muck, is it? Oh, yeah. Muck. muck. And now we're going to go out and get some. Food. We. We we. Jack and I got ourselves up and ready to seize our wonderful day in Edinburgh and went for a wander in search of a hearty breakfast to fuel us for a long day of exploring. We got some pictures at Edinburgh's most colourful street before embarking on our main objective of the day, which was to summit Arthur's seat. Okay, that is Arthur's seat. We're gonna go up there. You ready for a hike? Yeah, sure. Apparently it takes about half an hour to get to the top. But I've heard reports from my best friend what Charlotte. Do do? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Charlotte said it took her ages, it was really difficult. So oh, Charlotte. there's Jack patiently waiting while I vlog. There's where we're going, but you have to start here and then climb all the way up there. Jack's getting annoyed because I keep stopping to vlog. As you can see, it's pretty rough terrain today, but I've got the right shoes on. Jack's got his white trainers on. <laughs> Look at that treacherous terrain. Too far, we must be over 50 meters above sea level. I'm feeling it, guys. <laughs> the altitude is getting to me. I really thought I had good fitness levels at the moment. Apparently now. Oh. After about 45 minutes of steady incline and a few stops to catch our breath, we made it to the top and the views didn't disappoint. I'd really love to come back in the summer when it's a bit warmer and maybe a little bit bluer in the sky, but even today, it was great. Careful. She's a liability to herself. hardest part about going up a hill is coming down it. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I'm being careful. <laughs> Don't apologise and then try and claim you're being careful. <laughs> then we walked up Royal Mile to get a good look at Edinburgh Castle and by this point we'd done over 20,000 steps so we were feeling pretty ready for some good grub. We settled on a place called Makin Ramen and had some delicious ramen, which was actually recommended by my friend and fellow graduate medic, Layla, who we ended up meeting up with for an impromptu drink. Where are we? Where is it? I'm in Scotland. Scotland! With Scottish Layla. Scottish Layla. Subscribe to her channel. I'll link it below. I'll be back soon. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll link or maybe subscribe to my channel. Cheers! Cheers! I love Scotland! Yeah, Scotland! 
So Thursday was what this entire trip was about, the conference. I got up really early, I think like 7am because the first talk was at 8.30. Luckily my hotel was only a 10 minute walk away. I arrived for 8.15, collected my very official name badge and went to the first talk of the day on does the fat man deserve to die? Which was all about the trolley problem, which is a famous thought experiment that I'd never heard of. I'll leave that below because it's quite interesting. And then, very excitedly, I went to hunt down my poster in the viewing gallery and here she is in all her glory. I'll also link the research project abstract in the description if you want to hear more about the project I did last semester because I know I went on a lot about it in the vlogs at the time. There was actually so many posters so it took me a long time to get around them and I just felt super proud to be up there among some really amazing research that's going on in palliative and supportive care. So at 10 the conference officially started and there was an intro followed by a talk on living with uncertainty and even some acrobatic dancing from a US doctor called Ariel Dempsey. I'll also link her video below, she's got a TED talk that's really inspiring. The rest of the day was filled with basically back-to-back -back lectures and talks as well as some free food and unlimited tea and coffee. I was there for about 10 hours in total so it was a really long day but I heard talks from so many interesting people and met other med students which was cool. After a long day I headed back to the hotel to rendezvous with Jack. Look who's back! Oh look blue skies! I'm just having an iron brew and then we're gonna head to the airport. Good morning, I'm back in Southampton. We got back so late last night, I think it was like, well, I say so late, it was like half midnight, but because I've been awake since 6 a.m. for the conference, it was just a very long day. The flight from Edinburgh to Southampton is an hour, but we went to Gatwick and that's another hour and a half drive back to Southampton. So it ends up being quite a long journey anyway, even though the flight is the shortest part of the whole thing. I had such a nice time. I had so much fun. It was really great to go to a conference for the first time and have that experience. So I'm really glad I went. Today is Friday and we have a busy day. <laughs> Of course. Today I am going to try and sit in on my consultant's clinic because I've not spent that much time with him yet and he's the one that's ultimately going to sign me off at the end of this placement so I'm going to see if I can sit in with him. And Fridays are half days so I'll just be there till lunchtime and then I've got my SSU this afternoon so we have a busy day. If I can't get in on his clinic um, for any reason I think I'll probably just go to the wards and clerk some patients and see if I can present them to someone. So that's the plan. Back to reality. <laughs> okay, I'm back from the hospital. This morning I found my consultant. I sat in with him on clinic for a couple of hours. I presented a patient to him that I'd clerked in the morning. So I went and spoke to this patient, took a history, talked to them about why they're in hospital, what surgery they had, and then went and presented that patient to my consultant which was a little bit scary because normally I present patients to F1s my consultant is just scary and he just asked me a lot of questions so I did that and that was good because he was teaching me a lot and talking a lot it ran over a lot longer than expected and I've had to come home and get showered um, and now I have to go to campus for my students lecture unit which is in widening participation so I'm in a little bit of a rush I just want to eat something because I haven't eaten today and it's like two o'clock so I'm gonna have some toast Jack's gonna drive me to campus to save me time and then we're gonna do SSU so at SSU we practiced the lessons we've designed for the BM6 widening access summer school program and we got some feedback on those the lesson me and my group are doing is on medical ethics so it's quite an interactive session and very interesting actually um, and then after SSU I headed straight to town for our MedSoc charity dance show that we've been prepping for for the last six weeks. So MedSoc Monty is a big thing at Southampton and we had 10 different groups performing routines and it's basically where we all take our clothes off for charity. I was performing with the Medic Football Girls, of course. Here's the audience filtering in and oh my God, we were so nervous. Hello everyone, ready for Monty 2023? No. Hi! Hi! 
couldn't film the actual show um, for obvious reasons, but we raised over £3,000 for charity. Are we, are we nervous? A little bit. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's like four four or five weeks of hard work. Are you excited? So ready. Are you ready to see your clothes off in public? So ready. My sister's in the audience. Oh, let's go, Monte! I feel ready. We just gotta do it. Quite alright with me. We feel good tonight. Put lip gloss on me. We've done it. I'll do it again, baby. I will do it again. It was amazing. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!